Thank you, my dear patrons. I want to say thank you. Much love to my patrons during this holiday season and all of my viewers. Thank you so much for your support this year. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to the PayPal in the description box. And the small donations you guys are making are absolutely helping. Thank you so much. Heather Mater Art sincerely wishes you, all of you, a very happy holidays. And thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see what the next year brings. So, this is an interesting painting. The colors used in this painting were a lot of deco art. Um, Heavy Body Deep Magenta by Liquitex, Matte Metallics by DecoArt, that's their charcoal. The Pewter by DecoArt, Metallics. The DecoArt Pure White Satin Enamel. We have the Arteza Light Apricot. The Iridescent Silver Fine and the Permanent Maroon by Golden. Those are the heavy bodies. Lamp Black by Cheap Acrylic Colors. I really like that black. And then Carbon Black by Golden Fluid. And Golden Fluid Titanium White. All my colors today were either mixed with Floetrol or Oetrol if it was a fluid acrylic. And look at how pretty that cup was, you guys. <laughs> I just had to take a little close up. So that's a little pillow of satin enamel there. And uh, Sarah Mack has been doing that for her ethereal passage paintings. And I really love the formations that happen. So I decided to try one with some different colors. And instead of using gold or some sort of a gold metallic, I decided to use this palette of grays. Pewter is kind of a grayish blue. Carbon, you know, is a like a charcoal color. So I'm just giving it a little wiggle here and there and then going into a straight pour. My hand was really shaky that day. I do have a little tremor in my right hand, so some days it's worse than others and I was using my left hand to steady myself that day. So that's one of the things for those of us who have trouble holding a paintbrush for very long. That's one of the reasons why I love fluid acrylics. It's just a great way to paint without the pain. <laughs> All those stirring and mixing colors can also be a challenge too. Now I love the look of this, but I really want a very exotic looking center and more of the magenta because you can see there's magenta peeking through on the outside and some apricot, but it seems like the gray really overtook this one. So I decide I want to do a second cup. I made the most interesting pattern the second little cup did. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So I'm not sure what this is going to look like. Um, Although, you know, with these paintings, a lot of times the female anatomy seems to come out. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Oftentimes I do try to shift that a little bit. Um, but look at this little video. Here's a close-up. I love the apricot mixing with the magenta. It looks like a sunset, doesn't it? I'm trying to get a good shot of that and yeah, 
Yeah, I think that satin enamel is what causes those beautiful bubbles to appear. Now, my table's a little unlevel. You can see the pool sh um, shifted forward and um, having trouble dealing with things le being level right now in my studio. And it's, I'm not even sure why. Nothing has actually changed <laughs> that I am aware of. So it could just be things are getting warped from usage, so. I tilted this one very, very, very slowly. I was trying to preserve all of the beautiful cells that were occurring and also seeing how much of that center I could possibly save. I love how it looks shaded. Here's, I was just trying to help it to the edge because I love that beautiful part right there that looks like the sunset and I don't want it just dump it off the edge of the canvas but here's the problem with this painting and I realized this afterwards I don't want to dump the top part off which is the right side in my mind but I also don't want to totally dump the left part off because that's where all the you can see that's where a lot of the magenta was. So here I am <laughs> trying to think about how I cannot take paint off either the top or the bottom. And at the end, I end up having to do it anyway because there's just too much paint on my canvas. So I go ahead and concede. Now pewter, if you haven't used that deco art pewter before, I've said this before, but it's like the magic lacing maker. It makes beautiful lacing and so you should experiment with that color if you've never tried it before. Now I just have to take some of that paint off. This is a beautiful 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas too, by the way, you guys. Now I decide I'm gonna try to change the look of that a little bit because it's bothering me. So I add another, this is my third cup it would be. I'm just trying to give it a little different look. This was an interesting painting. The only issue I have with the matte metallics is that they're not sparkly um, the way that some of the other deco art metallics are, like the Extreme Sheen. They dry very, very, very matte. So this painting overall end up drying very matte. It may be refreshed with a glossy varnish, but overall it dried very matte. Just doing a little embellishing here. debated on whether or not showing you this painting but isn't it kind of interesting it, I see clouds and someone said they saw like a little hobbit hole <laughs> like a little cave in the clouds I'm not sure what I see exactly it's hard to do a painting with that much gray and the pewter seemed to completely disappear that color is hardly hardly there at all. I took it into some different light so you could see. I do love those bubbles that appeared, those cells from the satin enamel, and that right there has to be my favorite part. 
it just reminds me of like a sunset but see even there you can see the gray cells are popping through and then some more little bubbles this one continued to shift and change as it dried quite a bit Very interesting. That Arteza apricot is extremely opaque. So, just FYI. There's the pewter. That's the really the only place that it showed up in this painting. I hope you guys are having a happy and wonderful holiday season and uh, wish you the best as always. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get more notifications when I upload. And as always, thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye now.